All right, what's happening, Duderinos? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. I'm Kevin Duty, um, coming to you from uh, lunch break in the old truck here. Uh, got somebody being loud out there, so hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. So this is something I don't normally do, but um, I was just watching uh, YouTube knife videos on my lunch break, as I do every day. Got to stay up on, you know, the knife world, what's going on. And I was just watching Blade HQ's coverage of Benchmade's new 2023 lineup that they are announcing at the uh, the SHOT Show right now. Um, so it was uh, George from Blade HQ talking to a Benchmade representative. Uh, I'm not sure what the lady's name was, but um, she was showing off all the new models uh, with George from Blade HQ. So... <clears throat> I, I took notes. I took a lot of notes because I want to. Um, I want to go over what you know. Uh, most of the models that uh, that she talked about, I want to talk about because the prices are astounding, <laughs> astoundingly high. I'm sure um, a lot of you guys probably have heard about this already. That their prices are going way, way up. Um, but I wanted to make you guys aware if you didn't know. Um, so I'm going to just go through these knives here and talk about uh, talk about them. So um, let's see the so there's new bug outs. Uh, there's a bunch of new bug outs in um, a variety of colors. Now the colors themselves actually I think look pretty cool. There's like a sea foam, like um, a uh, dark earth or something like that. I forget what it was called, but the Grivery bug outs, base bug outs, are now 200 bucks. Um, huge jump in price. Huge, huge jump in price. It's the same Grivery as the older ones. Um, they're 200 bucks now. Same, same knife, just new colors, 200 bucks. Um, that's a huge jump. Huge, huge jump in price. And the bug out was already in my opinion, for what you're getting, a little overpriced. Next, we have the Benchmade Shootout. <clears throat> this one is um, also coming in some new colors, uh, kind of the same colors that the um, the bug outs are coming in. There's a sea foam, a um, couple other things. Um, but instead of the CF Elite handle material that they've been using, they are downgrading to Grivery for the shootout now as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure that it is actually a downgrade, um, because I know the shootout was really lightweight to begin with, with the CF Elite, um, but I'm almost positive that it's a downgrade. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, the shootout is, um, the, you know, these, these new ones with the, uh, the Grivery and the new colors are going to be $337. Uh, those are in uh, CPM crew wear, good steel. Um, I haven't handled a uh, I haven't handled a shootout yet. I actually have one coming, uh, a loaner for me to check out. Um, so we'll see what I think. I think it, overall, I think it looks it looks cool. Um, just never handled it. I think that's a little steep still. Three hundred and thirty-seven dollars for a plastic handled OTF with crew wear. Nah, um, you can get a full. You know, you can get a Microtech for much less well not much less but less um <clears throat> so next um this is really the the mind blower of the whole thing here um this is a new design they're uh, coming out with called the narrows now uh this is a, a very very thin knife they said it's um it's thinner than the bug out and it has titanium handles and m390 blade steel um, it's still using the axis lock, but it has been redesigned to uh, accommodate the super thin profile. So the normal tabs that you pull, you know, you grab and pull back on the axis lock are now much smaller. The actual tab itself is smaller. Um, obviously I haven't tried it. It looks like they're going to be harder to grip onto and kind of uh, annoyingly small, but you know, I haven't handled it, so I can't say for sure. Um, just speaking of the the overall aesthetic of it, it's nothing special, man. Um, does not jump out at me. Does not speak to me. 
Um, there's like some slight milling on the handles, like just some pockets milled out. Um, the blade is just your standard drop point. Uh, you know, it's it's really nothing. It's not great. It's not a great design. Um, Five hundred and eighty dollars. Five hundred and eighty dollars. M three ninety, titanium handles, and a redesigned access lock. Um, that's that's an insanity. That is absolute insanity. Um, I don't even know what to say, really. You know, it's just who who is going to pay that much money for that knife? Um, go look at it. Go, go look at it. It's called the Narrows. The Benchmade Narrows. And uh, go look at it. Just tell me what you think in the comments. If you think it looks like a good knife. Or, you know, aesthetically pleasing knife. It doesn't look bad. Um, you know, sometimes you pay... Um, you know, there are cases where you pay a little extra for the design. You know, it's something really cool and unique that you want. And sometimes you're willing to pay a little bit extra to, to get something like that. Um, this design, though... Not for me, man. Not for me. I wouldn't buy that if it was two hundred dollars. Honestly, it's five hundred and eighty. <clears throat> Again, this is just my opinion. I I'm giving you the facts on what the knives are and the prices of them. As far as how I feel about them, that's just me. Um, you know, you could look at it and say, "Oh, that's that's worth five hundred and eighty bucks to me." That's fine. I'm just giving you my opinion here. Now, next we have uh, the Mini Barrage. This is an assisted knife um, that it has been out before, but apparently there um, it has a new handle profile and a new color. The new um, handles are made of rich light, and the blade steel is S30V, so it's an assisted um, access lock knife, rich light handles and S30V for two hundred and seventy dollars. Outrageous. Uh, next we have the Weekender. You might have seen this one. Uh, they announced it a while back, but um, it's the one with the two blades. Um, it's a, um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a slip joint, I think. Um, it's got one larger blade, one smaller blade, and then also a, uh, a can opener or, or cap lifter that you can flip out as well. It's kind of like a, a larger Vic Victorinox sort of style thing. Um, that one has S90V blade steel, which is cool. Um, but that's going to be $342. Next we have the 940, but it's the 945. Um, it's the 945-2, so a carbon fiber handle. Um, that one is getting S90V as well, and I she didn't say the price on that one, so I'm not sure. I'm sure it's quite a bit. Next we have the OM. This is a new OTF, a very tiny OTF. It looked like it was about this large closed. Um, it looked weird. Um, it was like kind of a fatter handle, really skinny blade that popped out. Um, I'm not sure exactly how small it was, but in his hand, in George's hand, it looked really small. Um, they didn't say the blade steel on that one, or if they did, I missed it, but that one's going to be 360 bucks for, um, tiny little OTF. Next, we have the CLA. Um, which is, um, an EDC auto that they have. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if that was a design before, if that's a new design. I, I don't remember ever seeing it, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but it's going to be a magnet cut now. Cool. Uh, G10 handles. Uh, it's an auto. Um, George actually said when he was flipping it, he was like, oh, he, he pushed the button, you know, actuated the, the automatic knife. And he said, oh, okay. Um, well, that uh, definitely snaps open, but it's not going to go flying out of your hands. You know what that means. Um, it doesn't fire very hard. <laughs> That's his way of saying, um, hey, uh, this don't fire that hard. Um, that one is going to be 360 bucks. <clears throat> All right, the Claymore. Now, uh, the, the Claymore's been around for a while. It's an auto. Um, but now they're, the new blade shape that they're coming out with for the Claymore is the Tonto. It's going to be a Tonto now, or there's going to be a Tonto version of it now. Um, CPM D2 blade steel for uh, $234 and there's also going to be a mini claymore now that's in a drop point uh, blade shape I'm not sure how much that one is they didn't say 
Next, the tagged out. This one's been announced for a little while. Um, it's kind of the, the the bug out looking thing with the orange handles and the the the, uh, the blade hole. You know the uh, the window in the blade for the reverse flick or thumb flick. Um, so they're releasing another version of that with a thumb stud instead of the slot. Um, it's kind of their their hunting version of the bug out. It's got a you know a, a blade with more belly, sort of a clip point blade. That one's going to be um, 300 bucks. Not sure the blades do. Next, the Grizzly Creek. Uh, this is uh, just a kind of a medium sized drop point axis lock knife with a stabilized wood handle. Um, and it has the gut hook on it. So it's got the main blade, and then on the back of it, you can flip out a little gut hook. Um, S30V, that's going to be $275. And then there was some more fixed blades and some weird looking, I don't know, weird long skinny flex blades that looked like a bayonet. I don't know. That's when I stopped paying attention. That was most of the folders. Um, I don't know what they're thinking, man. You know, uh, these prices are just absurd. You know, um, I mean, obviously the most striking one is the Narrows for $580. Um, you know, why didn't they put Magnacut on that one? That's the only knife on the entire list here with M390. Um, even, even the S90V would have been awesome, you know? Um, it would have made the 580 bucks a little more worth it. Definitely not worth it, but a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I think, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, Benchmade's not one of my favorite knife makers, um, but I have really enjoyed some of their knives before. You know, the Bug Out was um, my first, you know, it was the first knife I paid over a hundred bucks on. Really liked it. Um, you know, I had to upgrade it and put titanium scales on it, but once I did that, <clears throat> that's a great knife. That's a really good, solid knife with the titanium scales on it. Um, you know? Now, if you want one of the new versions to put titanium scales on it, you know, the base model's 200, scales are gonna be around 100, so that's a $300 knife at that point. It's not, the bug out, uh, even with titanium scales at that price point, it's not, not worth it to me. Um, the uh, the Griptilian, I've really liked. I had the sheep's foot version. Um, it's a good work knife, you know? It's way too thick behind the edge. It was the thickest in my entire collection, thicker than my Hinderer. Um, and, um, you know, but it was a good blade shape. Um, never could get a, 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 no, you know, I couldn't get the action right with no blade play. Um, if I wanted to pull down the axis lock and have the blade fall shut, I would always have blade play. Same with the bug out, actually. Always had blade play on that knife, too. Um, I've owned the Mini Adamas. Um, I think that's a good knife. A uh, little overbuilt, thick behind the edge, too. But I liked it. Um... Definitely liked it. Um, that one was one of the more solid ones, actually. It did have a slight blade play, though, too. Um, the Benchmade Proper, I like it, you know? It doesn't have a great back spring, you know? It has its faults. It's a pretty good knife. But um, I'm not, like, a big fan of, of any of Benchmade's knives. And that's just me. Again, guys, if you are a Benchmade fan, that's totally fine. I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not giving you shit here, but I am curious if you are a Benchmade fan, what you think of these prices and if, you know, if you are still going to buy any of these knives. Um, I'm just curious, you know, let me know. Uh, to me, it seems like you have to be a pretty big fan of Benchmade to, to choke down these, these, um, these prices. Um, you know, I, I have overpaid for knives for sure. You know, the, the Hinderer, for example. Um, you know, the base model, eh, it's probably right around, um, you know, uh, properly priced. Definitely overpaid for this, the scale though. I paid, you know, 200 bucks for one scale. Um, that's overpriced. Um, their hardware is overpriced. Um, but I love, I love it. So I paid it. Um, so that's what I'm saying is if you really like it, you're willing to pay more to get it. I guess I just don't, I, I didn't see any of these designs that I liked enough to pay that much. Um, the Narrows is is on a, another level though. Um, you know, 
580 bucks for, and you know, you're not getting that much titanium on the scales either. That thing was thin, thin, thin. Um, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Um, just wanted to make this video kind of, um, you know, good topic. Maybe we can start a discussion in the comments. Um, yeah, I don't know. To me, it seems like Benchmade is kind of, and I've said this before, kind of um, rooted in the past a little bit. Um, you know, I am happy to see them using some Magma Cut. That's cool. S90V, cool. Um, I'll be curious to see how the HRC is on those uh, on those new steels that they're trying. Um, so that's good, but it, it seems like in general they're just not really on the you know, they're not on the cutting edge of the EDC world. I think they were at one point, you know, um, the 940 when it came out was like, everyone was like, oh, holy shit, this is the best EDC knife ever. And back then it, it probably was one of them. Uh, but, you know, now I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, folks. I have uh, links down below for you to use. I have... Um, you know, usually if, I, if I'm showing knives in the video, I'll put links to those knives in the, down in the description and in the pinned comment. Um, but I also have links of other knives that I recommend. I have, you know, I think I have um, my most recommended EDC list, lists of gear. I have my most recommended budget knives, stuff like that. So, um, go take a look. Um, if you use, I, I don't make money from all the links, um, but some of them I do get like 5%. Um, you know, kick back if you make a purchase. Doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps me out a little bit. So, yeah, that's about it. There's also channel memberships um, if you want to do that. Every um, every Saturday, the uh, channel members get a channels member uh, channel members only video that comes out um, that only they can watch. So that's kind of cool. You get that. You get access to um, a private chat room for the members on Instagram, um, emojis, all that stuff. So. There's that too. If you don't want to or can't, then um, just leave me a comment and like the video. I would really appreciate it. The Drop Bear, just a quick update. Still carrying this um, for 30 days, like I said I would. I put my own edge on it because uh, the one it came with was okay. But for the testing, I wanted to um, know that it had a, a nice, you know, uh, even edge so that um, when I'm testing it, I know how sharp it was really when I start the testing, if that makes any sense. So it's very sharp right now, and uh, we're gonna keep doing some testing. So far, again, no complaints whatsoever. Locked out solid, you know. Bench made, pay attention. This is a bar lock with incredible action and zero, zero blade play. Check that out, baby. So, anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Again, let me know what you think. See you in the next one. Peace.